man took mushroom tea, and mushrooms began to grow in his organs. Our story begins with Mr. X, a 30-year-old man with a troubled past and a curious mind. Battling bipolar disorder and opioid dependence, he found himself desperately seeking unconventional remedies for his ailments. In his search for a miracle cure, Mr. X stumbled upon reports of the therapeutic effects of microdosing psilocybin mushrooms. Intrigued, he decided to take matters into his own hands. When consumed, the magic mushrooms reveal their secret weapon, a captivating compound known as psilocybin. Once ingested, this mystical molecule embarks on an extraordinary journey, igniting a symphony of effects within our very being. Psilocybin gracefully dances through the bloodstream, seeking its destination, the majestic landscape of our brain. Here, it sets in motion a series of astonishing events, as if unlocking hidden doorways to perception. Psilocybin acts as a master conductor, orchestrating a magnificent ballet with our brain's serotonin receptors. These receptors, sensitive to the magical touch of psilocybin, awaken and harmonize in a symphony of altered consciousness. As the curtain of perception rises, the brain's neural networks shimmer and sway, weaving intricate patterns of connection and communication. In this wondrous realm, new pathways form, old boundaries blur, and the known merges with the unknown. Armed with his newfound knowledge, Mr. X brewed what he called mushroom tea, a potent mix of psilocybin mushrooms boiled down to extract their hallucinogenic properties. But he didn't stop there. Determined to purify his potion, he filtered it through a cotton swab before injecting the solution directly into his veins. Little did Mr. X know that this seemingly innocent experiment would trigger a series of bizarre events within his body. Over the next few days, he experienced a cascade of alarming symptoms. As he pushed the syringe, he could feel his body giving way, and the syringe dropped to the floor. The lounge he was sitting in transformed into a sprawling garden, with vibrant flowers and various animals scurrying around. For a fleeting moment, he thought he had transcended to heaven. However, the effects of the overdose swiftly took hold. The grass beneath his feet morphed into a fiery, treacherous landscape, and the once harmless creatures mutated into menacing monsters. The enchanting flowers now slithered as venomous snakes. He leapt onto the sofa, overcome with terror, screaming and pleading for help. Little did he know, this was merely the beginning of the disastrous journey he had unwittingly embarked upon. As the days unfolded, Mr. X's condition took a drastic turn for the worse. Lethargy consumed his body, weighing him down like an anchor, while the telltale signs of a body in distress began to surface. Jaundice cast a sickly hue upon his skin, a visible marker of the havoc wrecked upon his liver. Waves of nausea and persistent diarrhea left him weakened and depleted. And then the unthinkable happened. Hematemesis, the violent expulsion of blood, painted a horrifying picture of the internal damage caused by the invasive mushrooms. It was a nightmarish descent into the depths of physical torment as his body battled against an unseen enemy. Concerned for Mr. X's deteriorating condition, his family rushed him to the emergency department, where doctors were met with a medical mystery like no other. The laboratory results painted a grim picture. Thrombocytopenia, hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, hypochloremia, hypocalcemia, acute renal insufficiency, and acute liver injury. Something sinister was unfolding within Mr. X's body. The medical team delved deeper unearthing shocking revelations. Cultures confirmed the presence of both bacterial and fungal infections, wreaking havoc throughout Mr. X's system. The bacteria, identified as Brevibacillus, and to their astonishment, the fungus was none other than Psilocybe cubensis, the very species of mushroom he had injected. The once innocent experiment had taken a chilling turn, as the mushrooms were now growing within his bloodstream. Mr. X's life hung in the balance as he was swiftly transferred to the intensive care unit, where a fierce battle for his survival ensued. The medical team initiated a desperate fight against multi-organ failure, septic shock, and acute respiratory distress. Intravenous fluids, powerful vasopressors, 
broad-spectrum antibiotics and antifungal medications were administered in a race against time. The days turned into a grueling marathon, with each passing moment posing new challenges. Mr. X's condition worsened, requiring intubation on the second day due to acute respiratory failure. Disseminated intravascular coagulation added to the complexities, necessitating plasmapheresis. It was a relentless fight, but the medical team refused to relent. Cultures confirmed the presence of Brevibacillus bacteria and the relentless growth of psilocybe cubensis within Mr. X's bloodstream. The treatment regimen intensified with long-term administration of daptomycin, meropenem, and voriconazole. Day after day, the battle raged on, pushing Mr. X to his limits. And so, dear viewers, we reach the end of this chapter in Mr. X's extraordinary journey. For 22 agonizing days, he fought against the relentless onslaught of infections and the consequences of his ill-fated experiment. As we speak, he continues to tread a treacherous path, receiving ongoing treatment and a bid to reclaim his health and restore some semblance of normalcy. This cautionary tale serves as a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk beneath the surface of curiosity and experimentation. The invasive invasion of the Brevibacillus bacteria and psilocybe cubensis within Mr. X's body stands as a chilling testament to the risks involved in unguided self-medication. We must approach unconventional remedies with utmost caution and always seek the guidance of medical professionals. Join us next time as we unveil more extraordinary stories in the world of medicine. Until then, remember, knowledge and guidance are our shields against the unknown. Stay informed, stay safe, and may the shadows of experimentation never cloud your path.